Fabric has always been a part of my world. My family was in the textile business for over four generations, from the Austrian-Hungarian Empire to Poland and finally to Los Angeles. That may partially explain why fabric is my medium of choice. I prefer to express myself with fabric rather than painting or drawing. With this abstract freeform series, my main challenge has been in taking diverse pieces of fabric and combining them to create a dialogue and to end up with a harmonious whole. I start by picking one piece of fabric, pinning it on my design wall, and then taking a second one. I abut them and see if there's a conversation. Is it a dead conversation or is it a lively one? Color, scale, pattern, and size are all factors that I consider. The stitching holds your attention as you get close, and the bright colors and bold shapes attract you from the distance. I also include stitching on my work sometimes by hand, other times by machine. The stitching connects the various shapes together and also it is a way of creating texture and mark making, just as a painter does it with his brush strokes. My work marries the traditional and historical stitching with contemporary art. These works are full of energy, they're bursting out so I decided they don't fit in a rectangular shape, but they determine their own freeform shape. This is similar to the later work of Frank Stella. He too was not bound by the four corners of a box. His playfulness, color, juxtaposition of pattern and irregular shape influenced me. John Chamberlain's irregularly shaped pieces with their unusual materials also were an influence on me. This piece is titled Arabesque. I feel that my work is like a Rorschach test as people see different things when they look at my art. People looking at Arabesque have told me they see a guitar, a fish, or a seahorse among other things. These three works are part of my thread painting series. I view the needle as my brush and all the materials as my paints. I'm not using paints on these pieces, although it may look like that. I have fiberglass, fabric, yarn, wool roving, painted scrim, and other materials that give the appearance of paint but are not. And I'm using my thread to make my own marks.